Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a new luxury foundation to try out for you guys today. And this is a new one from Burberry. This is their Beyond Wear Perfecting Matte Foundation. This is going to be a two day, 10 hour wear test on my normal to oily 41 year old skin. If you guys want to see how this goes and hear some more details about this new Burberry foundation, Keep on watching. Okay, so now that we got the hair pulled back, let's dive into this new foundation. So first off, you're getting glass packaging in a frosted um, glass bottle. Love the gold detail. I've never owned anything from Burberry. I would love one of these days to own one of their scarves or a little bucket hat or a trench coat something one of these days but right now it's nowhere near the budget this foundation retails for $60 it's a pricey foundation and it comes in 24 different shades I'm gonna be real honest with you the shade range is not not the greatest not the greatest I mean still 24 shades that's good but I think there's just way too many light shades and there are deep shades now Obviously it has a pump. I'm going to pump some out on the back of my hand and I'm going to be using a damp sponge and of course one of my makeup brushes to apply. That way we can see which method applies better. I'm going to use, that's the noisy brush. I was going to get the cosmetics one. I'm going to use my BK 101 foundation brush. Now on day one, I don't wear this with any helping products. No primer, no powder, no setting spray. I am going to do a little bit of cream bronzer and cream blush just because I am filming my last Uden's Eye video with the Lauren May uh, Beauty collaboration palette. So yeah, and normally on day one, I try not to wear other makeup products just so that we can see how the foundation performs on its own. And then day two, I wear it with all of the helping products. So let's go in with the BK 101 foundation brush. This is on bare skin. Oh, what shade? That would be helpful. Um, the shade I picked up is Fair 20, I believe. Does it say? Yeah, Fair Neutral 20. And that's usually what I go for. I'm usually in the fair to fair to light category, and I go more for a neutral undertone, sometimes a warm undertone. This actually, I thought it was going to be a little too light, but it seems like it's it's my color right now. Um, what else about this foundation? So it's going to be long wearing. Uh, it's going to be a natural matte finish. It's also infused, like I've been noticing a lot of foundations that I've been wear testing recently with that bamboo powder extract that's um, supposed to help control oil and absorb the oil for, um, you know, pretty much the day. It says 24 hours of wear. I will, thank God, <laughs> not be wearing this for 24 hours, but definitely 10 hours a day. 10 hours tomorrow so we can see how well it is doing. I wish I could tell you that uh, I was going to be outside, you know, um, enjoying life. I am going to be outside, but it's cold and it's a little rainy and um, it's not the best weather. It's windy. I'm just going to go get a couple things I need, have lunch, and then that's it. So normally I would try this in humid conditions, hot humid condi conditions, because that's where I live in South Texas and it's always hot and humid, but not today. Not the last weekend of spring break. Oh no, the cold front had to blow in. Okay, so this is looking really pretty. And this says it's going to be a lightweight, buildable, medium to full coverage foundation. And I can definitely see that. Like I'm, I'm liking the coverage that I'm getting. I feel like I have a brush hair. Uh, I'm going to go in now with the damp beauty sponge on the other side. I still got plenty of foundation left and then we'll build it up. Let me just apply it to this side. Fragrance. Yes, there's a little bit of fragrance as you know, most luxury brands include in their makeup. It's not that intense. Like it's, it's going away, but it's there. So if fragrance bothers you, beware. This one does contain it. At least I can smell something. I like that it's going to be a natural matte finish. 
I feel like that's going to be great for my normal to oily skin. My nose is the oiliest place on my face. So um, not being able to wear setting powder today, usually on day one, I always get nervous. Like, and I always say that day one is just, you know, it's just to see how it does on its own. Day two is the real test to see how it looks and how it pairs with you know all of those helping products but i i love doing foundation wear tests concealer wear tests i just love complexion products i grew up with with lots of acne i had really bad acne growing up and into my early 20s it wasn't until my mid to late 20s that everything started to clear up, but I do suffer from minor, you know, discoloration and old acne scars on the sides of uh, my cheeks. And this is always the area where I like to build up coverage. This is how the foundation is looking. Not bad. I think it looks pretty good. I'm liking the coverage. I'm liking the finish. I wouldn't say it's a full on matte finish. Um, you're definitely getting a little bit of a glow. I pumped out a little bit more and I'm just gonna start building up the coverage right in here in this area. And I think the shade I chose it was a little difficult to choose shades. Um, there wasn't really much of a shade description other than like fair neutral or light cool, you know, it wasn't really, wasn't really that much of a description. So I just took a chance and I wasn't expecting to receive this as quick as I did. I placed an order, the order on Wednesday when I saw that Trend Mood had posted this on her um, Instagram page. And I ordered it straight from the Burberry website because that is the only place where you can get it at the moment, to my knowledge. And uh, I have that shop runner because of my American Express card. It comes with like free shop runner and that's like really fast shipping. It's like one to two day shipping on most products. So all I had to do is sign into my account and I got free overnight shipping with this one. I was totally not expecting to get it that fast. So not bad at all. Okay, so I do think... I do think this is maybe on the lighter side of full coverage, but I can see that it is building up, but you can still see a little bit of my imperfections peeking through. And that's all right, no big deal there. I am gonna go in next with some concealer. Why not do a luxury concealer? And this is the latest one from Givenchy. This is their Prisme Libre Skin Caring Concealer. And I use the shade W100 in this one. So we're gonna do this under the eye area. And I just wanna do a little bit right here. I just want to see how they're going to interact on their own. I'm using my BKA506 concealer brush. This is my favorite. And just spread this under the eye area. Let me know if you guys have tried Burberry makeup before. This is my very first time purchasing anything other than perfume from the brand. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try it out for you guys. You know, $60, that's a lot of money to drop on a foundation. But you know, like even the Estee Lauder and Lancome foundations, they're getting up to that price point. I have a new, well, it shouldn't, I shouldn't say new, but it's a reformulated Lancome foundation. My Holy Grail Tint Idol Ultra Wear full coverage foundation. Did you guys know that that got reformulated? That arrives today. I looked at that. I saw that on Nordstrom the other day. I was like, I need to try this. That has been a holy grail foundation of mine. Just the liquid formula and the stick formula for so many years. And I really got to put that one to the test. So after you see this foundation review go up, definitely be expecting a wear test on that one. I think for that one, I'm only going to do like a one day wear test just because I already know how that foundation performs, but it'll be like a 12 hour wear test. So be on the lookout for that coming up soon. I just can't believe, I can't believe all these brands and I notice it, especially with Dior, they're reformulating a lot of their foundations and I think they're just doing it to infuse more natural ingredients, more skincare ingredients, maybe um, 
have better packaging, you know, more recyclable, uh, eco-friendly packaging as well. So, you know, I think that's great as long as it still keeps performing well. Um, the prices do go up a couple bucks, but I mean, that's everything. Everything has gone up in price. We we're, we're not going to get away from that anytime soon. Okay. I think this looks beautiful. I like the way my skin looks. This is supposed to be lightweight, hydrating while still giving that natural matte finish. It's supposed to be pore blurring. It's just supposed to be perfection. So it says, let me take a closer look. I don't see this like accentuating any texture. I don't see it settling into any little fine lines, but I do see, you know, my imperfections peeking through. So I wouldn't say on its own it's full coverage. I think definitely if I was to add a setting powder to it, I think I could get it to full coverage. But today that we're not wearing any setting powder, this is how it's looking and I'm not mad about it. I'm a little nervous about it, but we'll see um, how it's doing. I'll do a midday check-in in about five hours. I'll let you see what my complexion is looking like. That'll probably be when I get home from, you know, doing those errands and eating lunch and stuff. But um, yeah, we'll see how this is wearing. It feels good right now. It feels light lightweight. It definitely feels tacky. Obviously, I just applied it, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like in five more hours. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so here's a five hour check in with this new one from Burberry. Here's what the complexion's looking like. It feels good. It feels lightweight. Um, I think the light is, you know, coming across making this look a little more shiny than what it looks like in person because in person, I don't feel like it looks shiny. I don't feel like I need a touch up or anything like that. I think it looks just fine. Uh, my nose is in check. The oils as far as on my nose are in check. Um, I think my forehead is just a little glowy because of the light and stuff and because of the cream bronzer. But everywhere else, it seems to be holding up nicely. It feels good. It still feels tacky. So definitely going to have to set this uh, with powder tomorrow. I did just put powder under my eyes just to set the concealer and a little bit of uh, blush and a little bit of highlighter and stuff. It feels good. I think it looks good. Five more hours to go and we'll do the final check-in of this day one wear test. Hey guys, this is the end of the day one wear test with the new Burberry foundation. And here's what my complexion is looking like. I don't see honestly that big of a difference between 10 hours versus five hours. I think the foundation has held up really well on its own without any setting powder, primer, and setting spray. I think it did a good job. My cheeks are glowy because... I shouldn't have done this, but I thought I was going to film another video uh, today, like an eyeshadow palette video today, and I didn't get around to doing that. So I probably shouldn't have put highlighter, but that's why my cheeks are glowy because of the highlighter. It's uh, one of the new blush wands from Tarte. Uh, I'll have everything in the description box. But, um, you know, my nose isn't as oily as I was expecting it to be. I'm noticing actually a little bit more oil on my forehead than I am my nose. It's starting to break apart a little bit around here, but it's actually... This has been one of the better foundations on day one that I have tried as of recently. Usually my day one wear tests are a little bit of a hot mess just because I'm a normal to oily skin type and I really do need that setting powder to help control oil in my T-zone. And you know, usually day two, day two is the best day, but this day one didn't go bad at all. I'm actually really excited for how it's going to look tomorrow. I will check in with you guys in the morning. I'll let you know what helping products that I went in with. I'll let you see what the complexion is looking like. And uh, we'll go from there. But as of right now, this is, um, this is doing pretty good. And it feels pretty good too. It does feel lightweight. So I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Here is day two with the new Burberry foundation. And this is what the complexion is looking like. Let me quickly tell you some of the helping products that I went in with today. Actually, let's move over here to my filming desk. That way I can just show you. So I went in with the Milani concealer today. Um, I went in with Cody Airspun powder. Love this powder. It's been around for I don't know, 100 years. It still works fantastic. I went in with the Urban Decay Vitamin C setting spray, all-nighter setting spray, and a primer I was a little unsure of because 
it started not working out great with the foundation, like especially right in here, but I was able to make it work with a damp beauty sponge. Is this one from L'Oreal? This is the L'Oreal Prime Lab um, 24 hour pore minimizer primer. You know, I I'm still on the fence about both of these primers, the mattifying one and the pore filling one or pore minimizing one, I should say. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, other products I went in with is this from Tarte. This is their Sculpt Tape in the shade Cool Bronze. And I also did I also did a Tarte blush. I don't have it in front of me, but it's a liquid blush. It'll be linked in the description box. I'm getting ready to film with the last Uden's Eye uh, Trio Collaboration Palette. This is going to be the one from Lauren May Beauty. I believe it's called Sea Talk. So you guys will see that video go up before you watch this Burberry foundation go up but I'm loving the way my complexion looks right now like everything is just in check everything looks really good I have very high expectations for it today and I will check in with you guys uh, a little bit later in about five hours hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see y'all in a bit Hey guys, this is a five hour check in here with this new Burberry foundation. I have zero complaints right now about how my makeup is looking. Like I am matte, I am shine free, everything is in place, it feels good. Uh, I did apply the powder uh, down here so it doesn't even feel tacky. It just, it's holding up so, so well. I'm very impressed. I don't know why was I thinking I wasn't going to be impressed. I mean, it's Burberry. It's a luxury foundation, but not all luxury foundations are equal and not all of them work. Just because something's expensive doesn't mean it's going to be the best. But so far, this one has been doing a fantastic job. I filmed this eye look, these eye looks already. This is using the Sea Talk palette from Uden's Eye and Lauren May Beauty. You guys will see that video go up. I'm editing it right now. You'll see that video go up before you see this one. But uh, be on the lookout for that and i will see you guys in five more hours and we'll wrap up this two-day 10-hour wear test of the new burberry foundation okay guys two-day 10-hour wear test has come to an end this is what my 41 year old normal to oily skin is looking like at the end of this wear test i think it's looking pretty good i think it's looking pretty good i never do touch-ups whenever i do these foundation reviews my complexion is intact. It's matte. It's not overly matte though. Like I still look a little fresh. You know what I mean? I feel good in this makeup. Like I don't feel like I'm ready to take it off. I think it looks good. It just, this foundation did great on day one. And usually foundations don't always do that great on day one without the helping products. It did even better today. Like I don't, I don't have any issues. I don't have anything negative to say about this foundation other than it's a terrible, terrible shade range. I mean, it's a terrible shade range. I don't know what Burberry was thinking when they released that shade range, but I am hoping it doesn't stop there. I'm hoping that they add deeper shades because they need it. But if you can find your shade in their 24 shade range, the Burberry Beyond Wear Perfecting Matte Foundation is going to get two thumbs up from me. Lightweight. I would say this is a solid medium coverage at best. Uh, I don't feel like I got it to full coverage, maybe with the help of the concealer, but it's on the lighter end of full coverage. It kept my oil in check all day long. It feels good on my skin. I just, the shade, I think the shade is a fantastic shade for me. Once again, I am in shade uh, Fair 20, which is Fair Neutral 20. And I think that is the perfect shade match for me. Um, I, I'm really, I'm really loving this foundation. It's a $60 foundation. It's a luxury foundation. But if you're full on oily skin type, if you're normal to oily like me, this is definitely a must try if you got the 60 bucks to spend. Um, I don't know yet when it's going to other retailers. Again, I picked mine up straight from the Burberry website, but I love it. I think it's fantastic. Now, the last great foundation that I tried is the new one from Laura Mercier, and this is her Real Flawless Foundation. This is a 
beautiful foundation. This one is a little cheaper. I think this one is at $48 or $52, something like that. Not incredibly cheaper, but cheaper nonetheless. If you want a bit more of a glow, and I'm not meaning like shiny or anything like that, I feel like with this one, I got a little bit more of a glow at the end of the day while still being matte where I needed to be matte. Like this wore really well on my complexion as well. So these two foundations have been the best like luxury higher price foundations that I have tried so far in 2023. Um, I want to mention because this is Another luxury foundation that I tried recently, never tried anything from Gucci Beauty before. This is their, oh, I can't even pronounce it, but it's their 24 hour breathable foundation. This pales in comparison to this Burberry one and to the Laura Mercier one. I would just not even recommend that and recommend you go for one of these instead. Um, other luxury foundations that I have in my stash that are very similar to this one from Burberry are of course the Dior Forever uh, Matte Foundation. This is a holy grail foundation of mine. Also the YSL All Hours Foundation. They did reformulate both of these actually, but they're still good. They still work. I have zero complaints. And the one, uh, the Givenchy Prisme Libre Skin Care Matte Foundation. This is also a really, really nice one. I am going to be trying out the new, uh, the newly reformulated Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Full Coverage Concealer. Did you know they reformulated? We're going to try it out and you guys will be seeing that uh, foundation review go up really soon because that is definitely a holy grail foundation for me, has been for many years. Guys, I realize $60, not everybody has $60 to spend on foundation and makeup and I get it. My recommendation from the drugstore is this one right here from NYX, and it is their new Bear With Me Blur Foundation. I have shade Vanilla. Vanilla is a little too dark for me, but this one holds, holds up so well on my 41-year-old normal to oily skin, like this Burberry one did. At the end of the day, I'm not greasy. I'm not shiny. The makeup is still intact. I have coverage. If you're looking for a good dupe for this one, if you're wanting something, you know, that is a lot less cheaper than 60 bucks, this is $14, which I'm sure you can find it on sale in some places. Try this one from NYX if you haven't already. I'm going to have my foundation playlist because I definitely have a review over this one. Foundation playlist will be linked in a pinned comment so you guys can scroll through and see after three and a half years here on YouTube, all of the foundations that I have tried out for you guys. This is... One of my most favorite things to do is complexion products, foundation and concealer. Told you guys earlier, I used to suffer from really bad acne. I do have acne scars, minor discoloration going on the sides of my cheeks. So I'm just always on the hunt for good foundation. And I love trying all different types of foundation. Let me know your thoughts now, guys. Are you going to be picking this new one up from Burberry? I think it's worth the splurge if you can. And if you're normal to oily, full on oily, I definitely think it's worth the splurge. If you have dry skin, if you're more normal to dry, then maybe. If you're full on dry, no, I would just skip it altogether. But sound off below, sound off in the comments and let me know your thoughts. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is y'all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water and I will see y'all very soon. Bye.